All right, the first thing you got to do when you take that these two pieces out, I'm going to use my emergency hatch to put my roof mount. Obviously, that's way too big, so we're going to have to resize this. This is the inside piece held on with nothing but Phillips screws. Okay. Screwed in on the top too because you can see the screws sticking through. Okay. Come here, hold this. And we'll see how we got to resize it. We got to be down to 14 by 14. And this hole is 23 and a half by 23 and a half. So I have sheet metal to pop rivet on here and then recut the hole both top and bottom 14 by 14 so now we'll go up on the roof unscrew this piece scrape all the caulking off get the uh, new metal and I'll drill the holes and I'll Coleco it down all the way around the Clecos get all the holes drilled I'll do the same down here I'm actually going to have to trim this because I don't want it overlapping rivets. And then um, I will paint it and then I'll put it back up and pop rivet. That way I'm not drilling through the painted material. It'll already have paint where I've drilled the holes. That'll lessen the amount of rust. It already uh, have some rust inhibitor on it. So we'll move on. Now I got to get all these screws out of this piece, and then uh, we'll get this thing off the roof. And there we go. Fifteen screws, and you just work your screwdriver around, and that thing pulls right out. But this is too wide, and my sheet metal's too long. So from rivet to rivet. Down there is 27 inches, so I got to trim my sheet metal to fit in between these rivets so it'll be flush. And then we got to recut a hole 14 by 14. And then there's my uh, old door. And then we'll uh, get my hole centered. We'll do the same for the inside because the rivets are just almost identical because there's a brace right here and then we'll make twins we'll get them painted and then we'll get them ready to put up for the uh, air conditioner I needed this metal to be at 27 inches and it's 27 inches there's two pieces 20 gauge so that'll per work perfect so now I got to get a 14 by 14 hole in the center of them. We'll get my magic marker out and get to work. All right, there's my resized hole. I got to cut all of this out. That's 14 by 14. I got two pieces here. I'm going to clamp them down with a pair of vice grips, cut them both out at the same time because one will be for the inside and one will be for the outside. So let me go get my cutters and we'll get at it. <clears throat> well, there's a few Calicos in. It's squared up. I get the rest of them drilled. Get this down and painted. And then I'll uh, I'll get it put up permanently tomorrow and get the air conditioner mounted. So we'll uh, be back. My two ceiling pieces. Put some self etch primer on them the inside piece right there. Let them dry for a few minutes and then we'll give them some black. There's our piece of metal with all the holes pre-drilled. There's our holes in all the, in the roof. Sealant. And then once we glue it down, this is um, Okay, and then I have uh, some self-leveling to go over the roof, to go around all four edges and over the tops of all of the um, rivets. But I want to Clico everything down after I put my bead of sealant down. 
put the metal down, Cleco everything down, pull a Cleco out, pop a rivet, pull a Cleco out, pop a rivet, and that'll hold it straight and square. And then uh, we'll bring you back. There's my roof panel in. Okay, it's got a bead of sealer. You can actually see it oozing out. Then what I'll do is I'll put rivets in here. Then I'll go around and start pulling Clecos out. That holds the panel straight with the glue. Then I'll go around with the what they call the dichlor self-leveling around the edges and over the top of all the rivets. All right, I'll be back. Is it red? Or? Red. Yeah. Pull out the Cleco. It's got crap on it. That's okay. Cleco. Sealant on the Cleco or a rivet. Some of them don't like going in. Napa rivets, by the way, if anybody asks. It's cheaper to buy them by the big box. And this is a Northern Tool rivet gun. The same rivet gun that Snap on sells for $100. Northern Tool sells it for like $30. It's the same gun. Don't argue with me. I had a buddy buy one from Snap-on. It's the same gun. And what I'm doing, you can hear it. It doesn't, it doesn't do a complete pull. So I'll let you hear it. What it does is... Uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this once. I'm going to pull the stud, the metal thing, in here, but it's not going to pull it enough to bust it off. Then when you let go of it, you'll hear it. The jaws will release and grab another bite. Okay. I got that all sealed up. There's 55 pop rivets in it, 50 some, 55, 53, something like that. Every one of them sealed. I went all around the edges. Plus, there's sealant under the metal. Every rivet is sealed before I put it in. Then I went over the top of every one of them, make sure nothing's going to leak. I let this sit a couple of hours and tack up. Now I'll come out here and put the air conditioner on it. And then we'll do the We'll pop the inside piece on, but it won't have to be sealed like this. Alright, there's the air conditioner. Where it's going to sit. Square it up with the hole inside. Hopefully I want it to come back up here. Okay, these are going to be my spacers for in between the... Um, Two pieces of metal that separate the roof and the uh, air conditioner. Uh, they're one inch thick and I need them to be two inches. So what I did is I cut them in strips and then I'm going to glue them together make them two inches like that. And I have adhesive I'm going to do that with. So that's what this is for. So we'll be back. 
Now they're glued together and there's four two inch spacers. Now obviously they're way longer than I need and I'm just going to chop them off with a knife. And then these get sandwiched in between the roof the air conditioner and the lower plate inside where the uh, controls and stuff are at. And I'll show you that here in a few minutes. Alright, this is the air conditioner temporarily in. This is the inside piece. And then my foam pieces will go my foam pieces will go in here. After I get done riveting this, this is how I guided the air conditioner down in the hole. That's my electrical. Comes out down there and it's laying on the floor. This was the alarm for the uh, uh, this is the alarm for the door, the hatch that was here. We'll end up getting rid of that. And then uh, We'll have this done here in a little while. There's my foam piece. Hey. Okay. okay. This is a pneumatic rivet gun. If you're gonna own one of these buses, buy one of these. Harbor Freight, 25 bucks, 15 bucks. Same one they sell on the Snap-on truck for a hundred. Same one. Okay. Rivet, buy them at Napa, 23 bucks for a box of 250. My fitting leak because I'm too cheap to buy a new one. Put it up there. It's getting a second bite. Actually, what it is is the rivet, the pin. Now you're going to mess with that. Huh? I can fix that. But for the sake of this video, you hear it creep. That's it. Nail falls out, throw it on the ground. You're done. That's all the squeezing you have to do. It's pneumatic. I have a 175 pound, 80 gallon compressor. Doesn't hurt it. We're in. Okay? The ground wire's got a butt connector on it. We're going to use wire nuts for the rest. Now we're going to put our foam in here. Poke a small home hole in the foam for my electrical to come through. And then uh, in an hour we're going to have air conditioning. Alright. Alright, this is the divider. We have to cut it to fit. So we're gonna have to trim probably that much of it off. I don't know if you can see this now because now my screen is getting dark. But that's uh, what we gotta cut off. Let me try something here. Yeah, there we go. We gotta trim this and then make it work there. Alright, so what we've done is just partially started all the screws. Got my dampener which separates export air with import air. I got my wire pulled all the way through which is this red and black wire. I'm fixing to hook the ground wire up as soon as I get a nut driver in here. Um, and what that is, that's a 12 gauge extension cord and I'm going to use that as my uh, power cord to this, which is no different than just using a, a 12-3 Romex. Um, I bought a 100 foot of that for 40 bucks, and you can see it's the same as this 12 gauge here. And I'm gonna, I got a nut for that, and then we'll spin these in with this nut driver. Got my foam in, got the holes. You want to put sealant in your corners, because what happens is when this is all together this export air this is import air I'm sorry this is import air import air comes in export air goes out um, when the import air comes in it pressurizes this plenum part of the air conditioner and you don't want it blowing air into this part of the box so that's what the foam is and that's what the sealants for okay not focusing with the crap, but you'll see as I start to tighten it down, 
the foam will work fine for the, the crush. I've seen guys use Styrex foam. Uh, this is a uh, pink board, got at Home Depot. Work fine. You can use plywood if you can glue it together. You know, however you want to do it. Uh, you're not going to crush that styrofoam. If you crush it, you're tightening these bolts down too tight. Because all you want to do is just smash about a quarter of that big gigantic two inch thick rubber gasket underneath that air conditioner. That's all you want to do. All right, we'll bring you back. All right, we got our ground tight. Got our two wire nuts on. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up our two uh, hold down screws right here. Put our lid on, and then we're gonna snug all this up. All right, we had to pull it back down. I had this on this end. This box was facing the wrong way, so we couldn't get the uh, power cord for the top unit. So we had to just take these four bolts out, leave the 110 up hooked up, just spin it around. That's all we had to do. Put the four bolts back in it. No big deal. Um, and then we're just going to snug it back up. And that's it. And then she's going to hold the camera while I snug it back up. have the flashlight. I'm just making sure my duct work doesn't interfere with anything. Okay. Good, that's good. Now you can see up in that corner. See how I've got that pulled down and it's got the rubber smashed down. See that corner squished down a little bit. And it's all nice and even all the way around. See how it's smushed into that bolt hole crevice. Shine, shine, shine the flashlight or shine the camera where the bolt hole is going into the, into the unit. Right over there in that corner. See where the foam is in the crevice of the unit? You're not shining the camera in there, I can see that. There you go. See how that's kind of smooshed down? Okay, same over here. See how that's smooshed down in that crevice? That's all you need. That's it. You don't need that any tighter than it is right there. I could have probably actually cut one more row off my uh, um, ductwork thingy to make that lay down flush. And you know what? I'm actually going to do that. You can turn that off. All right, here we go. This next hole there. That's high.
pulling my two hairs around. <laughs>